I don't remember any of it. You don't remember? For you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Welcome to the Rated G for Gamers podcast, episode 99. Before we start the show, just a reminder that you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and YouTube at Rated G for Gamers. And you can always email us at Rated G for Gamers at gmail.com. We appreciate all the love. I'm your host, Dave Rotino. This is my co-host, Dan, the podcaster, formerly known as Classic, Robinson. What's going on, man? Ah, uh, it is it is end of the year time. We are, Christmas we, is over. Christmas, Christmas just ended. We are both uh-huh. on extended break. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Kwanzaa. Thank you. I am five percent Jewish, you know. Really, I did not know I that. Am. I know according 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 to Ancestry dot com's DNA test, I am five percent Eastern European Jew. Eastern Ashkenazi, I think, is what they call it. I have no idea. I just know when I told everybody at work. Mostly Jewish. I work with mostly Jewish uh, attorneys. Mm-hmm. Uh, they 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 have gotten me a yarmulke for Kwanzaa. For uh, I would say for Kwanzaa. For, for, for Hanukkah. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> don't get the two confused. They are completely different holidays. So I got three holidays all in one, man, mm-hmm. and, and New Year's all, all together, yeah. all back to back. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. I said, ne- I said next time, um, you know, you get me a video game, which I did get a video game, and we'll talk about it in my pickups. Someone did get me a, a video game for uh, Hanukkah. Oh. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, it is snowing outside right now. It is bitter cold where we are in New York. Uh, there's been a huge uh, cold snap, I guess you would call it, in the teens. Uh, it is brutal outside, but we are coming you know, to you from the comfort of our own homes where it is very nice and warm. Well, you know what that means, though, right? If it's snowing, you know what that means. It's just an excuse to stay home, drink and liquor, play. and play video games. I agreed. Agreed. You have that. So, yeah, you have that game that you've been you've been kind of putting off for a little while. Crack that puppy open. It's time to beat it. Well, that just means now, Dave, you can actually beat. Well, you should be able to beat in one day the order eighteen eighty six. Oh <laughs> boy, what are eighteen eighty six? Play it on normal. <laughs> no, play it on hard. The order eighteen eighty six game of the year winner 2015, 2016, uh, possibly twenty seventeen. Well, okay. How far did you get into it? I, I, I probably got halfway through the game because I only played two hours. Ha ha. <laughs> You're almost halfway <laughs> through the game. Thank you very much. Probably, yeah. Probably. I mean, right. look, just, look, just look. Play another thirty minutes. The 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 game is definitely beautiful. Um, I like the mechanics. I think everything is good about it. You know, I'd be down for an order eighteen eighty seven. You know, I, I I feel like there could be a sequel. Well, well, I think they should come. They should bring it back to the. They should bring it to the nineteen hundreds. Bring it to the, yeah, yeah. Move it up a little bit. The order, the order nineteen hundred. There mm-hmm, we go. Mm-hmm. Nineteen twenty-two. Well, well, speaking of speaking of speaking of game of the years, it is the end of the year, and as tradition, we do our uh, do our nominees for game of the year, which we will go over at the end of the show in our convo of the week. You get five, I get five, and next week we will no, nominate. But only one can win. Only one yet, and only one could win. <laughs> but we're gonna do a little different this year. We're gonna do a little different this year. Mm-hmm. We're gonna, we're actually gonna do top three. So we'll, we'll we'll do our third, second, and then who actually won game of the year. Sure, third place, and I guess runner up, and then the winner. Because we had heavy debate this year over who would win, so we had to do it this way. Stiff competition. There was some stiff competition. There, there, well, there was, was great, some, there was was some good year. games. It was a great year. But at all the games that came out this year, mm-hmm. Dave. As we always try to start the show and always miserably fail every week. <laughs> what have you been playing? I, I, I would have to say this is one of our better outings because we're only four minutes in and we're getting <laughs> to the games that we've been playing this week. 
Finally. Uh, and thank you, thank you, thank you for teeing me up because I am playing the the Bonkers Bananas fifth entry in the Persona series, Persona Five for the PS4. Nice. I and... thought I thought I thought you were saying you were playing a bon- a Bonkers game. <laughs> oh no. I was, I was like, oh, all the games. I don't think a Bonkers game came out this year. <laughs> Taking it back to the Disney afternoon, you know, it was a re-release. Um, yeah, so that and uh, Assassin's Creed Origin for uh, for Xbox One, Xbox uh, One you, X with the enhancements. Are you warming? Are you are you warming up to that game now? Yeah, 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 definitely. You were sort of you were sort of eh about it when we first when it first came out. I mean, it's not. I was more about that game. I, I was like, you know what? I really like this game. I put I put that game second under mm-hmm. Mario after mm-hmm. Mario. I mean, like the presentation is great, the voice acting is great, the graphics are phenomenal, but it's 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 still kind of been there, been there, been there, done that. You know, all you you've the, been to Egypt, you've been to Egypt and done all that. Yeah, I have. Right? I have been to Egypt and and, and uh, done all that. Technically, in the first one, you were you were in and around that area ish in in uh, Jerusalem and Acre and whatever else. So you know, close by, close by, different. You know, flash forward twelve hundred years or whatever it is. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, how are you liking yeah, Persona good. though? That's good. I, I mean, I've played. I, I I dropped off from Persona a little bit. Mm-hmm. Well, a lot. I should say a little bit, a lot. But how, how do you like Persona? Um, I love Persona Five. I'm. I don't know if I can't say I'm halfway through the game. I was mm-hmm. about maybe three, four months in. Well, well it ain't. It ain't no into yes. the world. Yes. So 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 for people who don't know. The game takes place day by day, and it starts in uh, it starts in April, uh, mid April, yeah. And you basically play out every day. the the be the the beginning month or so, I think, is just a giant tutorial, more or less, because um, they could they keep introducing new mechanics to me, and I'm like, oh, well, okay, oh, here's some more stuff. I'm like, I shouldn't be surprised because Final Fantasy does this all the time. You know, they keep introducing new mechanics to you. And then you're like, by the time you're at the end of the game, I'm like, is that it? Is there any any new mechanics? Um, so for you to be like three months in is pretty substantial, I think. So you're into like July now, right? I'm in the summer. Well, I, I literally stopped playing in the summer. But uh-huh. I was, in, I was, I was, as soon as summer started, I stopped. I sort of tapered off from it a little bit. Uh-huh. I got, you know, because you're pretty much living another life. Mm-hmm. I was living a double life. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, no, you were living a triple life because you have to live his life in the real world and then live his life in the sort of persona world as well. There is, there is that where, where the actual like uh, action RPG element takes place. Uh, so that's kind of wild. Like, I'm I'm all in. I'm all in with it. I like everything about it. Um, I did have to tone down the difficulty. I had it on hard. And as 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 you always I, do. Yeah. Well, you know, you, luckily you can change it on the fly. And I I thought I could hang. And I'm doing the mission right now where you have to steal the treasure from uh, Kamashita's castle, mm-hmm. right? Which is like the I guess like the first big mission that you do. And I made well, I made it like halfway through. I'm in like the middle of the castle and. I'm just getting destroyed. I'm like, I need to tone this down. Yeah, I, I, I definitely need to play on normal. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I found out. I was like going through all like the, uh, all the uh, PlayStation Store stuff, and I'm like, there was a bunch of free stuff. So I'm like, give me, give me, give me, give me. There is a. So I wasn't even on. I don't even think I was on the. Well, okay, I was on what I thought was the hardest difficulty. There is apparently a merciless difficulty. That you can download, <laughs> which I now own, and I am very afraid to turn. Of that course, out. you do. You love playing games on hard for like fifty years. Mm-hmm. Like you just love it. I, I, I hey, listen, hey, hey, I talk buy, about getting I your admire. money's worth. I get, I get my sixty dollars worth out of that game. Listen, I, 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 I admire you. You know, mm-hmm. you, 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 love, baby. you love, you love persistent punishment. <laughs> well, so I, I give it. You know, I, I think it kind of goes hand in hand with the themes of uh, Persona. You know. <laughs> No, it does. Yeah, yeah. So, how about you? What would have, what have, uh, what have uh, you been playing? All right. So, I beat Bayonetta one, mm. as you know. So I went right. back, booted up uh, Wii U, the Wii U. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was pretty much halfway through Bayonetta two when I, you know, when Mario Odyssey came out and all that stuff. So I went back, mm-hmm. finally beat Bayonetta two mm. on a Wii U. Congrats! So I don't need to buy Bayonetta Bayonetta two for Switch. I probably will anyway. You're gonna get it. Well, you know what? You know, you know what? I'm not. I wasn't so. I mean, look, I'm happy it's coming to the Switch. I'm probably not going to get it 
but if you know when we finally see nintendo's online you know online services when it actually is goes live if they're like achievements or rewards or trophies or anything mm -hmm. i'll probably because i'm sure it's not going to work retroactively i'll probably buy the right. game again on right. the switch and then... i think i think they would be they would be a fool not to have that in there right it's it's yeah you know it's what you call gamification right yeah. and and a lot of people think it has to necessarily do with games it's turning things that aren't necessarily games into games like so you're you know you're playing a game or whatever and you get you know i get 15 hours out of it and then i get tired and bored of it right what's the hook to get you back into the game is like oh well if you beat 15 enemies in like five seconds you get an achievement right and that's well, a that, little well, that, well that's an achievement beat 15 enemies well, in sure five sure <laughs> Well, there you go. There you go. And then you'll get a little well, trophy and it. the ding will happen and it'll get you right back into the game and it just cycles through, you know, so it gets you to get you to play the game longer, which is what they want. They want you on their platform. Well, they don't want you to sell the game. They want you to keep playing the game. Well, you know, well, yes. uh, you know, publishers, they don't want you to sell the game in the secondary market. No. Right? No. Well, they're, they're not going to make any money from that. So they want you to <laughs> there's play also that too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, there's, 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 there's big incentive from the devs and the publishers <laughs> to get, keep you playing the same game. Or to get other people to buy the game, you know, because there's because there's no secondary market because everybody's trying to get the achievement. So, well, no, I will buy I will buy it for the Switch if there are some type of trophies or achievements because I already beat it in a one and two, mm -hmm. right? And, and I don't know. I mean, I'm no completionist by any stretch. I'm mm -hmm. not going to play it on hard, mm -hmm. but you know, I'll play it on normal and and just plow through. So if I can get some achievements on that, mm -hmm. I'll buy it for the Switch. Mm -hmm. So uh, well, speak. Uh -huh. So I'm not gonna. Sorry to sorry to sorry to cut you off. I'm not gonna make a Shake Shack bet because you never you never make Shake Shack bets ever because you always know you're gonna cave. And I know if I if I present it now, if I say Shake Shack bet that you will get banned out of one and two for the Switch, whether Only, or not oh, there's achievements on there, no, I would no, win. No. I would win, but you will not make that bet. So I oh, am no, not gonna I, make that bet. But I am saying here and now. If you check the Instagram, like two, three months out, or whenever Bayonetta one and two drops, it'll be for Easter. in your collection. Yes. For Easter, Bye check Easter. Instagram. <laughs> well, no, I'll take that bet mm. by Easter if there's no if there's no achievements. Mm. I'm not gonna buy you're just gonna it. you're take, just gonna get it the day after bet. Easter. I know you. I'll take that bet. You're gonna I'll get it the day after bet. Easter. Uh uh. uh, uh. <laughs> I know how you work. I'll I'll take that bet. Uh -huh. Anyway, speaking of the Switch, uh, I, I went back and started playing Mario Odyssey. Nice. I went back. You know, I already beat it. I went back to get, collect some moons. I mm -hmm. think I'm up to like 300 and something moons. I mean, I left off at like two something. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. 20 or something like that. So now I'm in the 300 range. Uh, I think I'm just going to casually go back, play, stop, and go back and try to collect more moons. Sure. So it's not, it's not something that I'm going to plow through for hours and hours. Yeah, and... you can you can literally pick it up at any point in time and grab some moons and then put it down again. You know, that's the great thing about it. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, there was a Super Mario Brothers 1 came out for the Switch. Uh, it's not... It's Actually, I was a little confused because this is sort of... It's not... Is it Nintendo that's releasing this? I didn't even look at... I mean, I was pretty wasted <laughs> one night... <laughs> And looked and, and and I was looking at the eShop, and I was like Super Mario Brothers one, and I downloaded, it and I was like, oh my god, I'm playing Super Mario Brothers one on the Switch, but this is not sort of like a virtual. It only costs like five six bucks. I saw that you downloaded it uh, yet again. I, I come on, five but did you six see that? bucks did, for did, Mario did you, one? Did you see that? Well, I, again, I did ca caveat. I did say I was wasted. I was pretty wasted one night. Uh, it was really well, late, and I was on the eShop. Legend of Zelda. And it's so similar. I, I'm gonna have to boot it up. I, I I don't think this is like a release from Nintendo because it's like sort of like a like you know when you buy those Neo Geo games. That's what it that's what it felt like. So it's like you know because it, it gives you that it prompts you that uh you know that these buttons work this way for this game. Uh -huh. Sort of like same thing when you buy the Neo Geo games. So I have not played it since that night. I mean, I got pretty far and then lost, and I was just like frustrated oh. as I was when I was a kid playing Super Mario Brothers One. You gotta hold, you gotta hold start and hit A. You, you restart at the same level that you're at. Uh, you know, I I, I don't think I was uh, in my right state of mind when I bought this game. So I don't think I remember that. <laughs> right, right. Uh, and I booted up SNES Classic. Mm -hmm. I've been playing Castlevania Four. Oh my God, so good and so tough, so tough. It is tough, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank God for safe states. <laughs> mm, seriously, yeah, yeah. 
I mean, you 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 can infinitely continue, which is which is which is uh, great. So you just go back to the beginning of the stage that you're at. But my god, it it ramps up quick. So, all right, Dave, you any good pickups this week? Because I got a lot of pickups. I know you. I know you want to. You know you want to laugh at me. You want to call me. Yeah. Good well, thing let's, we didn't let's do not, let's not, let's not, you know, we'll tease it. You apparently picked something up that... I know, you, I, I said it was, you were I was throwing, you, were, you were throwing some dirt on the pile. So, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, so, yeah, I had some pickups. I, I took this lovely extended weekend vacation time for the holidays to do some, uh, do some retro shopping. Um, by the way, uh, I picked up one of your Christmas gifts. Which kind of kicked off the day. Nice. Uh, so, uh, episode 100, we're going to do a nice little gift exchange and whatnot. Um, well, well, let's just, you, I mean, we, I went, we, we sort of had a semi budget and I sort of went out of budget. I got you a few things I think you may like. As you, as you did, as you do, as you I do. got, a, I, I, I got, it's still one more that's, I, I haven't received yet. Oh my God. So, well, I don't you know got, if you, you got. Wanna, you, 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 you also have a second gift, which is forthcoming. So maybe, do you want to save it? Do you want to just save to we get both gifts? And then, you know, we, you know, or you want to just do a gift exchange for what we got already? And then later on, exchange the gifts that come I think we do away. that. I think we do that. Because then we get, then we get like two sets of surprises. Okay. Yeah, that works. Yeah. So I think you're going to be happy with your gift. Uh, but that kind of like kicked off the day. So everything I got, I got in the same day, which was fantastic. Uh, so I got Warcraft 2 Expansion, the Dark Portal for PC. Uh, just a disc, not the whole big box, but I got it for two bucks, so there you go. Local... Uh, you can't beat that, two bucks. No, 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 that's, that's you know, that's uh, that's a solid retro find. Uh, Loco Roco, Rock Band, and Untold Legends for the PSP. Um, I got the Bible game for Xbox One. <laughs> I got it, I got it <laughs> I under it. eBay value, though, which is why I got it. I even, I even, I even managed to pull the pro maneuver, uh, cause the box had a, a, a crack in it at the top. So I took another Xbox, original Xbox case and kind of swapped the insides out <laughs> and I got that for a couple bucks. Uh, pro tip, pro tip, mm-hmm. pro collector tip right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take note, take note. Uh, Prince of Persia, Warrior Within for the PC. Uh, I have the two thrones. I now have the third in the series. I just need the original Prince of... Not the original Prince of Persia, but the... Uh, the Prince of Persia reboot that came out in the early 2000s. And then I will have the trilogy, which is nice. Uh, I got Abzu for Xbox One. Uh, cheap, because uh, Target had it clearance. Uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD on clearance. And uh, I haven't mentioned this before, but I did pick up. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this new uh, drop mix game from Harmonix. No. So essentially, what it is, uh, Harmonix, the guys who do uh, Rock Band, who used to do Guitar Hero, they're they're all about the the rhythm music game and whatnot. So they they made this game called Drop Mix. You get this large plastic board. You use your phone as the screen, um, and that kind of has all the uh tallies and whatever else and what your point totals are and what the music is uh you basically get uh cards and you build a music deck out of those cards and you go back and forth placing cards down every card you put down makes a new part of the song so you you can get like um you can get like run dmc is it's tricky right you have the baseline of that and that's your card you put that down and that goes into the mix. And then maybe you have like, um, I don't know, you have a like, you know, a song by Usher or, or like whatever else. You play that part of that song and everything mixes together. So you're making music on the fly and there's like uh, point totals based on like what are the cards that you put down. Um, you kind of have to see it, but uh, I've been crazy about it. So I got the bass drop mix thing and then I've been buying like the card packs, which you get like, you know, 16 cards for X amount of bucks or whatever. So I picked that up too when I was at Target, um, and that 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 was the day. That was the day. Started at the thrift store, ended up at Target. Um, I think it was pretty good. Oh, oh. Also, because it was at this wacky thrift store, and they had a ton of these there. I picked up James Bond 007 Goldfinger on CED. 
what is a CED? That sounds like a. I'm not going to tell you what just. I'm not going to tell you what that sounds like. <laughs> it's. It sounds like something you should get checked out. It sounds like you need to go see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah, I watched the YouTube video on CED not too long ago. Um, there's actually side note. There's there's a there's a really good channel called Techmon. Uh, T E C H M O A N. Weird, weird ass name, but uh, he does like all these obscure like um, reviews on like uh, uh, video and audio technology and whatnot. And he had the CED player on there one time. I'm like, this is wild. So the first thrift store that I went into had a stack of CED discs, right? Which is essentially it's kind of like a laser disc, but not a laser disc. Um, it, it's this whole system. The disc is inside this giant plastic clamshell. You basically like shove the disc in or shove the whole plastic thing and it pulls the disc out, uh, plays the disc, and then you have to shove it back in so the disc like slides back in. It's 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 a weird mechanism. But now I own <laughs> now I own Goldfinger on C E D. Now you now you now you own now you own the game. Well you own the games, but you get now you gotta buy a C E D system. I, I do if, if I can find one for sure. For sure, I feel well, like they go for I'm sure a little you, bit. I'm sure you could find one. Is this, can you afford it? That is true. That is true. Which, you can find anything on eBay. You, you can't for, find anything on eBay. You can't find anything except, for their, except for their original Super Mario Brothers cereal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I looked. Trust me. I looked. Unless they put it on, unless they just put it on recently, I looked. I've been looking. Mm-hmm. 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 So yeah. So 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 those are all my picks. Now you, my friends, you want a little hog wild. You want a little okay, Christmas I, crazy. All right, so look, all right, Santa, Santa, Santa Dan went a little crazy. Mm-hmm. Dancer, Dan. Dancer. Okay. Dan Santa Dancer. went a little. Dan Santa went a little crazy on Dan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Listen, you know my bonus was good this year. Uh-huh. Okay, I got you. I got. I went over the limit for you too. Okay, I got you some. I didn't go crazy over the limit because uh-huh. I knew you would appreciate the gifts, but then you would feel some type of way that I spent all this money, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I got you some good gifts. I think you would like, and I got me some great gifts. You did. <laughs> you got you a lot did. of. I got a lot of great gifts. All right, so, all right, all right. So, I'm, I'm so gonna, break I'm it down. Over, I'm bringing over there. So let's just get the elephant out the room. Mm-hmm. I went a little. I went a little DS crazy. Okay. Mm-hmm. I picked up all three, uh, you know, holiday editions of the 2DS and 3DS this year. What? So wait a minute. I got you picked up. All the special edition holiday 3DSs and 2DSs. Yes. Does that mean that you now own? I don't even know what the I don't even know what the question is. The answer is yes. <laughs> Does that mean that you now own a Super Nintendo themed 3DS? Unfortunately, I do. Yes. That Get is, is... out of this podcast! I know, I know. I, I, oh I <laughs> my god. I, go ahead, go ahead, get I, it out of your system. I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, get it out. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm tearing up a little bit. I'm tearing up a little go ahead, bit. Go ahead, I knew go you ahead. would get it. I knew I, you I, would get it. I got yes, uh, Amazon exclusive. Mm-hmm. I, I I got it. Um, and and the box looks cool because it's like that Nintendo classic box. I put it yeah. next to uh, all the other all the other boxes. Right, it has like I, the red stripes on there with the black. Yeah. I stand by my original point. The only reason why I was throwing shade is I think the Super Nintendo uh, Switch, the Switches mm-hmm. that were on the original, the purple Switches that were on yeah. the original Nintendo, yeah, should have been button. should have been buttons on top of the the, the 3DS, just like mm-hmm. the Pokemon 2DS XL that I I also purchased has sort of you know it's shaped like a Pokeball, right? Mm-hmm. And it has the button on top that's actually a button. It doesn't do anything, but right. it's actually a button. Right. So the the SNES switches are just it's just a picture mm-hmm. so i stand by my original point but i did buy it and i also I'm not bought saying you're not wrong but it's still cool and i also bought the 2ds zelda ring of time edition special edition right right which we which we i think we talked about a couple episodes ago it's it's brown and yellow and green yeah yeah <laughs> i mean it's that that is the color of Link's tunic more or less so i can't say the colors aren't on point but they're not the most pleasant so that's so i didn't i didn't just go ds crazy mm-hmm. i want a little sega crazy oh you well. did you did well so you, you know, know genesis does what nintendo don't so <laughs> so as you so take as it you, back I, well people who know me 
as a collector, no, that I've been looking for uh, a Sega CD Model One for a mm-hmm. long time. Mm-hmm. Okay, that I, was. The, I may that... or may not have tried to look that up for you for your Christmas gift this year. I may or may not have, and I, okay. I, I may have also taken a step back and said, I don't know if I can afford this gift. <laughs> that is true because, well, again, my bonus was really good this year. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. not only uh, so I did buy a Model One. I, I couldn't find one by itself for a good price. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I just, I bought it with, I, I bit the bullet, bought it with a, a, a version one Genesis. Mm-hmm. I, even though I still have my own version one Genesis, mm-hmm. um, and it's, it's in working order. It has a new belt in it too. So, oh, uh, great. I also, uh, <laughs> I actually, well, I don't say accidentally before I bought <laughs> that, I had won a bid for my uh, Sega CD X. So I thought I would be outbid. And I wasn't, so I got that too. <laughs> so, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Explain to people what the CDX is, because some people may not know. Well, CDX is what came out uh, sort of at the end of the Genesis life cycle. So it's a, a, a Sega CD and a Genesis all in one. It looks like a CD player. It does, yeah. Which, so it, which it also does play CDs, right? Enough. And and it has the little Genesis cart in the back. It's it's essentially portable, except for the power aspect of it. Yeah. So I got that. That actually is getting really expensive nowadays um, yeah so i it's, think it's, i think i think you i think this is a good investment purchase even though i don't think i don't i, I you, you don't necessarily want to think about your purchases as investments but i think it's a good buy so i have the whole sega cd family and i have well not the whole there, there there was another machine that played the sega cd mm-hmm. that was from a third party but oh. as far as the sega family is concerned uh-huh. i have the model one model two uh-huh. and sega cd x so you, you're, you're referring to the jvc xi Yes, mm-hmm. which is, which is mm-hmm. really expensive mm-hmm. <laughs> to find one in working order. Yeah, there there is also uh, there is also too there is a um, I believe it's a combo CD tape system. Yes, that yes. plays is it Dreamcast games or Saturn games? Well, no, but the, the, not only the JVCI. There was another. Well, there was I think maybe we talked about two different things. There was another system. Mm-hmm. A huge system that can also play. Oh, you're talking uh, about the CDI. Was it the CDI? Yeah, 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 yeah. CDI had modules where you could play Genesis and Sega CD games, which was weird. So it had like an expansion port in the front, and you could basically buy the Sega Genesis expansion or the Sega CD expansion and play those games on there. It's really weird. I could have, have sworn there was something. No, nah, there was something else. There was there was the JVCI you know sort of had like a round yeah no the jvci sort of had like a the sort of like was like weird shape curved. yeah 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 no there was something else that looked like a receiver mm-hmm. <laughs> that had a tray that plays that had a tray that could hold up the five game or five cds right and that, that also played the sega cd as well yeah, yeah. i would needless to say uh, genesis has licensed out their technology to a number of different companies for years, uh-huh. this is not something that's new because they, yeah. they still do that now because they don't make their own. Um, they don't make their own like little mini systems. No, so. no. Because if they did, I would like to think it would be better quality. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know why they don't. Right, the at games versions or whatever. There's always a problem with them. Right, it's like it's cool. It's got like 80 games. Only like 20 of them are even good. You know, why do you have these like freeware games on there? Why does your audio always have problems? Why do the ugh just just Sega just make make your own console you have the technology uh anyway sorry anyway all right so <laughs> other than that uh the, 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 all right so those are the systems mm-hmm. um all right i'll go through some of these games i bought some of these games were bought for me mm-hmm. uh, so i got mario all-stars 25th anniversary edition for the wii Ooh, i bought that very nice very nice I got the Dark Stalkers, the Night the Night Warriors. I wanted to get it for Sega Saturn, but I got it for uh, PS One the Long Box. The PS One Long Box, yeah. So, that was that was uh, like first year, second year. They all came in these like oversized long boxes, not the CD jewel cases, right? Wasn't CD jewel cases? No, was it? Well, no, no, actually, no, no. They were CD jewel. Oh, some of them were CD jewel cases. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, some of them want to because my Tekken is a CD jewel case. Well, Tekken Tekken came in two flavors. the The greatest hits one. Was a CD jewel case. the The OG one was a was a, a long box. was a long box mm-hmm. case though. It wasn't just a, a like cardboard. It was like actual plastic case, like the Saturn game. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's right. Some of them were plastic. Some of them were cardboard. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I got Mega Man 
for Game Boy, Mega Man Three for NES. Mm, the 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 best Mega Man, hands down. Really, you think Mega Man Three? Okay. Mega Man Mega Man Three is a is a better Mega Man because it's balanced. Mega Man Two is basically just go to Metal Man, get the Metal Blade, and then you beat all the robot monsters with the Metal Blade. Everyone's weak to it. That's why Mega Man Three is better. Plus, also you have Rush. Mega Man Two just had these weird like bots that would be your uh, that would be like Rush. So now nah, three all the way. I got twenty four the game for PS Two. <laughs> okay. It came does in it, a lot. Does it, okay. Does it have the voice of Kiefer Sutherland? That's what I want to know. You never know. Maybe <laughs> I haven't played it yet. <laughs> all right. Uh, I got a Kami for PS Two Greatest nice. Edition. Very nice. Uh, I got I got what some people think is the best pro wrestling game ever made. Mm-hmm. Fire Pro Wrestling Returns for Ooh. PS2. Fire Pro so Fire I, Pro I, is a great series. Yeah. So, so I had to buy that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want a little I want a little James Pond crazy because <laughs> I already have James. Well, we had a little thing about James Pond, so I said, you know what? I'm gonna go out and buy every other James Pond game. Period. So uh-huh. I got James Pond three, two. I even got the, the the Super James Pond. And I got the James Pond for Game Gear. James uh, James Bond's two for Game Gear. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also got a Snipper Clips Plus for the Switch. Mm, finally came out in physical release. Very nice. Finally, mm-hmm. Xenoblade Two mm. for the Switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Time Splitters, the original one for PS Two. Nice. Uh, that was actually I got I, I I got it for a good price because it was a it was one of those blockbuster games. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't it didn't come in an original PS2 case. It came oh, in one yeah. of those blockbuster yeah, yeah. cases. It's got that weird outside like yeah. weird uh, texture to the uh, to the to the plastic. So I mean, unlike you, mm-hmm. I think sort of that brings character to my collection. You know, I'm getting stuff that wasn't actually the get the out release, of here. It brings character. Listen, right. yeah, I know, I know. Blockbuster you... no longer exists. <laughs> you, okay? you just like John Hancock, love all the little imperfections and the yes. and the weird whatever. Everything doesn't need to be perfect. I mean, I kind of get that, but if I had the choice between a regular retail release and the blockbuster release, I'm gonna take the retail release. I'm gonna take the blockbuster block, uh, blockbuster release for twenty dollars cheaper. Uh-huh. So, well, no, I wasn't uh, talking about price. I didn't. I, didn't, I wasn't. I wasn't bringing price into this. I had the option well, one right, or the I, other. I I'm bringing in the price. All right. Uh, I got Doom VFR Ooh. for PS4. Yeah, so I, I was actually I, actually I was that. actually playing that just the other day. You and have that? I didn't know you. I didn't even know you had it. Well, I I don't actually own it. Uh, our friend Joe has it, and he's like, "You got to you got to play this Doom VFR." How do you like it? Because I haven't played it yet. I haven't popped it in. It's great because he's got the PS4 Pro and uh, he has the little gun attachment. So I'm like, all right, I'm in. And, um, you know, I, I, I played the Doom PC start to finish. This is a different experience. They've they've changed a bunch of stuff to work with uh, the VR headset. Like, for one, uh, the insta-kills are different. So you don't run up to the guy and, like, punch through his chest and pull out his heart. You basically like have like a teleport thing, and you basically run through the guy. Um, so it, it it you'll see as soon as you turn it on, like everything's like slightly different and tweaked. Um, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I think. I think you'll like it. So I gotta pop that in. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got mm-hmm. Raw Two for Xbox. WWE Raw. WWE Raw Two. Uh huh. I didn't even know there was a one. I gotta yeah. find one. I didn't even know if there was one. So, so uh, funny. This was this was uh they they had they had the um the SmackDown series for PlayStation right. Mm-hmm. Xbox had the Raw series, and then GameCube had WrestleMania. There was like three separate lines of uh, of uh, games, and then eventually they're just like, why don't we just put this same game on all three systems? So after like Raw two, it was always like it was SmackDown two thousand seven, oh eight, oh nine. Well, then they got into the Raw versus SmackDown series. Yes, yes, they had before, that before the two K series. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got Dynasty Warriors, uh, the first one, Ooh. which was a fighting game. Mm-hmm. Never knew that. Mm-hmm. I never knew that was a fighting game. Uh, and I got Rating Five for PS Four. Ooh, very nice, very nice. That's solid. Uh, That's a it, solid pickup. I'm I'm not done. <laughs> uh, I got Project Justice for the Dreamcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The uh, the spiritual successor to Rival Schools, I believe. Yes, it for was the PlayStation One. Great game. Uh, I got South Park: The Fractured But Whole. Good the price, fractured, half off. The Fractured But Whole, huh? Nice. I got it for Xbox One. Nice. Uh, I got uh, I got PUBG for Xbox One as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Now, I, I thought this was actually going to be a disc. It is just a cardboard. It's sort a of case code. All cover, it was a download card, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, uh, I got Mario Party 10, the bundle with Mario in it mm -hmm. for the Wii U. I don't mm -hmm. think there are any more. I think I have all the bundles with the exception of all the different variations of Yoshi and the different variations of uh, the Mario 10 because some of them came with Peach, some of them came with a Bowser. Mm -hmm. I got the Mario one, but I, I got the special edition Wii U uh, for Super... For Super Smash Brothers, mm -hmm. I got the special edition for Mario Party 10, mm -hmm. special edition for Captain Toad, special edition for uh, the remake of The Legend of Zelda, I think The Twilight Princess. I nice. got Yoshi's Woolly World special nice. edition, mm -hmm. and everybody's non-favorite Animal Crossing special edition bundle. <laughs> yeah, right? Which, 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 by the way, if you're a collector, you can get it for $5 at... Toys R Us right now. Yeah, you can get it at Target for five dollars. You can get it at GameStop for five dollars. You can get it anywhere for five bucks. Yeah, I'm they not saying they, that, they can't even give those away. They can't listen. If you go to Toys R Us, right? You buy you buy uh, two two Amiibo, get one. Uh, no, if you buy two Amiibo, get two free or Animal Crossing or something like that. Buy two, get two free. Wow, you can have the whole set. Which was only like five, yeah. I think. Uh, I got I, I bit the bullet I bite the bullet and I got the NBA 2K18 for mm -hmm. Switch. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did. I, yeah, I got oh, that. Boy. I got Kirby's Kirby's Dream Collection for the Wii. Mhm. Mm uh and then someone somebody, you know, special lady I'm dating, she got me the Metroid Samus Return Strategy Guide mm -hmm. cuz she saw me playing a game and I got stuck in the area at one point and I was a little frustrated. So she got me the strategy guide and she also got me the Super Mario Odyssey uh collector's edition uh book. See, I already had. The, see, I got the Zelda book, and you didn't even you didn't even be like, "Hey, you know what? For the holidays, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Why don't you, uh, you know?" She she took her own initiative. Said, "Look, oh, he's totally into this stuff. Uh, he's playing this game. I will get him this to go along with it." And you were like, "This is fantastic, right?" To me, it right was. there, that's like the best gift in the entire world. When you're not prompted to be like, "I I, I hate I hate I hate." asking somebody what do you want for the holidays what do you want for your birthday what do you want for christmas i should know that person well enough to be like you know what they don't have this i think they would like this and i will go out and find something that fits for that person that's just me well, though. That, i don't know well, well that and she didn't want to buy a game and i had it well <laughs> so, you do even own though, you do own just about everything that comes out i own i own a lot of games especially uh you know i said listen you you know, whenever, if I'm in the bathroom or something, you can take a look around, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. if you see something online. Uh, also, I I got Wario Land for the Virtual Boy. Mm, very nice. Very nice. A game that eluded, eluded to me. Uh, I now I want, uh, that was at Waterworld, right? That was oh, at Waterworld, World, that block, sure, sure. Waterworld that blockbuster was one of the game, that blockbuster movie that flopped. It was one of the 15. <laughs> yeah, well, it was more like a buster and less of a block. <laughs> I actually, I saw that movie. I mean, I didn't I, mean, I didn't go to the movie scene. I saw it on HBO. Uh -huh. I, you know, I, I liked it. It's okay, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. There's nothing it, wrong with okay. it. It's just, and they, they ended up turning a profit on it, I think, in, in the end. But they just they it, it didn't make nearly enough as they thought it was gonna like the projections were way out of whack. So uh, I'm not, I'm actually not done with my pickups mm -hmm. and gifts. Mm -hmm. uh, my Hanukkah gift, ah. the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time 3D for the 3DS. Nice, nice. Uh, Spider-Man 3, the collector's edition for uh, PlayStation 3. Spider-Man 3. On PlayStation yeah. 3? On PlayStation 3. Like, of the original Tobey Maguire series? Uh, yes. Interesting. Huh. Uh, D Dragon Ball Z Sagas for mm -hmm. Dreamcast. Mm -hmm. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast. Wait, wait, wait. For, go back, uh, go back. They made a, they made a Dragon Ball uh, game for uh, Dreamcast? Oh, sorry, GameCube. Oh. My fault. Interesting. Okay, okay. GameCube. I was going to say. GameCube. That would be awesome, right? If they yeah. Did Dragon I'd be, Ball I'd be down no, you know what? You never know. Maybe there is. We gotta, I gotta go check that. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there was an early Dragon Ball game for uh, for Dreamcast. Sorry, GameCube. GameCube. Mm -hmm. I got Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast for GameCube. Nice. Good game. Good game. Uh, I got, and I, lastly, I got uh, Konami Classics Volume 1 for Xbox 360. I had Volume 2 already. Mm -hmm. So I need to buy Volume 1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is, that is all for gifts. Oh, well, I also got a lot of whiskey. I'm a big whiskey drinker. Uh huh. 
So I got Booker. I got Booker's whiskey. Somebody, one of my clients brought Booker's whiskey for me, and one of my closers uh, brought me a very really expensive bottle of Japanese whiskey, Yamazaki. Nice. I'm going to say that's how it's pr- pronounced. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I've, I think you're right. I think you're right. I, I hear that's uh, some good stuff. People seem to be raving about it on Instagram. So I know. Well, you know what? It's strong. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you that. It's really, yeah. it's really strong. Uh, all, um, all, I, all I ask is that you save me a sip. I need to. I, I need to try some of this Yamazaki. Well, you know what? You've been saying you're gonna come. You're gonna come visit the game room for a long time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Come I gotta come visit. through as soon as all the snow clears. I'm in. I'm coming by. Come take a visit. And you know what? We could do a whiskey tag. I got, I got other bottles that I had. I haven't showcased on Instagram yet. Oh. I have other bottles of whiskey people bought because uh-huh. <laughs> they know I love whiskey. I'm a big whiskey drinker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, that's it for everything that that's come in because of the snow. In the holidays, mm-hmm. some of some of the things that uh, people said they sent me, or, or things that you know I bought on eBay, are, are shipments being delayed. So I'm probably not gonna get it until the new year. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, no, it's been a good Christmas. I gotta yeah. say, same, you same. Know, I, I, Dan, I Dan Santa did good. Dan Santa, Dan Santa did good. <laughs> so, all right. So why don't we take a break here? When mm-hmm. we come back, we'll get into the news. Of the last, I guess, two weeks, mm-hmm. and our nominees for Game of the Year. All right, and we're back. All right, let's get into the news. So, I love Capcom. We mm-hmm. talked about Capcom a lot. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I did... By all, just so you know, I didn't get the game yet, but I did buy uh, Street Fighter Three for the Dreamcast. Mm, okay, Street Fighter Three Third Strike, I think. Third Strike, I did. Yeah, yeah. no, correct. That that will be correct. Mm-hmm, so I bought mm-hmm. that. Uh, I haven't gotten that yet. And I can't wait for that. I would love for that to come to the Switch. Maybe. I mean, they they have that Street Fighter Collection that's coming out in May. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. I think that's a is part that, of it. Is that's... that not coming to the Switch? I think I it's coming to the Switch. I don't. I don't yeah. know. Is it? I didn't. I didn't see. Uh, I don't know if we saw a Switch logo. Maybe it's. Oh, clean. Maybe not. It's, I mean, it's 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 definitely Xbox, PlayStation. Definitely Xbox. Come definitely come to PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, Capcom wants to port more games to Switch. Apparently, all right. I mean, Capcom was one of those companies that sort of didn't put out a lot of games in the first year. I guess it's sort of playing a wait and see approach, like EA. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did get that. That Street Fighter game for the Switch and that came out in May, right? That was like the new challengers mm-hmm. or the final challenges or whatever. Uh, uh your Street Fighter Two Ultimate Final, something like that. Yeah. Final Challengers. Sure. Uh, sure. Because we had that violent Ken and Evil Ryu. Violent right? Ken, Evil Ryu, and one other character too, I think. I think there was three. Or I think it was just two. two. No, no, yeah. I think it was just two. Mm-hmm. I liked it. I bought it. You know, I, I was clamoring for something to play on the Switch. I know, so, I know, you know. Early on. <laughs> so uh, slightly slim pickings besides Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh so they're looking to port more games to the Switch. What game what what Capcom game would you want to see ported to the Switch? It's a very good question. Maybe uh I got it right here. While you think, I got uh-huh. mine right here. Uh-huh. Okay. Marvel versus Capcom oh, with X Men characters. <laughs> Oh, so you want you want Infinite. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite with X Men characters in there, or just do like a, a Marvel vs. Capcom like collection from like you know one, the... one two and three maybe one two definitely, and three definitely definitely like one and two. Sure, I'd be down with that. I'd be down with that. I'd be down with that. One hundred percent. I mean, I, I, I would love that. It, it so. uh, the system definitely needs more fighting games. It has almost none. You know, besides like Street Fighter, I can't name you any other fighting games that are on the system. Well, this isn't owned by Capcom, but I would love like a Mortal Kombat game. Well, that'd be awesome. Yeah, Mortal Kombat would be great. You know, really, really shake off. I mean, they already have Doom on there, right? That's like a super mature game where you like rip people's skulls out and like punch through their heart. Mortal Kombat is on the same level, if not a little bit tamer. Well, we're not getting Soul Calibur 6 on a mm-hmm. Switch. I didn't remember, that didn't have a Switch logo. And they said that they didn't even they didn't even know about the Switch when they were first developing mm-hmm. uh, Soul Calibur 6. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, maybe look for a Switch port later on. Sure. Right? I would I would love to see Soul Calibur on there. But I, I don't know if I'd necessarily get it. Um, you know, it would be great to play it on the go. But I do want the better graphics. 
you know, you know it's going to look great in Xbox One and, and uh, PS4. Yeah, but I, I, I just give me a Marvel vs. Listen, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I bought it. Story, eh, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, no X Men characters. Mm-hmm. I like the mechanics. Sucks you can only have two characters, right? And that the, not have three characters. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's how that's how the original was. The original Marvel vs. Capcom was uh, two guys and like a support character. Yeah. And then the second one had three. The third one had three, and then they went back to the two again. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's so maybe it's different. So maybe to maybe give good I mean, the budget for the game was, was was like less. It was like significantly less for the whole game. The budget for the whole game was significantly less than the Street Fighter DLC budget. Right. right. It was less than less the DLC downloadable the budget, content for another game. The, yeah, that that's ridiculous. No, no, no wonder they look weird. Uh, but I think sort of like to give goodwill. Right, maybe maybe do like a Marvel vs. Capcom collection for the Switch, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The Switch exclusive. Mm-hmm. And like you know, speaking of the whole like, let's get the X Men back in there. You're saying that on the heels of Disney buying the rights to Fox well, franchises. Dis- well, Disney, yeah, they pretty much bought Fox, except mm-hmm. for uh, Fox News, Fox News, mm-hmm, <laughs> and sports. Mm-hmm. So we can get the X Men. We can get X Men back into the fold. Are they are they going to be in the uh, the MCU? Maybe you know. Could be some good stuff happening. So not out of the realm to see Wolverine back <laughs> on the fighting game franchise that he started. So I I would love to see that. Mm-hmm. Um, Same. There's a lot of other Same. games. A lot of the games I would love to see, mm-hmm. uh, not just made by Capcom, but made by Bandai Namco. Remember mm-hmm. another that's another company that played that wait and see approach. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we heard about this big event that that sort of was going to be you know with Nintendo. December 15th, I think, mm-hmm. it, it happened. But apparently it was private. I didn't hear anything about this. I was like, does this even happen? People were just like, is this even, does, does this event even happen? Does it exist? Everyone it, apparently had to sign NDAs, you know, so. Well, the, it was a press-only event. Mm-hmm. Everyone had to sp- sign uh, NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. Mm-hmm. Why? What's, what's, I mean, what was the even, why even have this if if they can't put out content? I mean, maybe sort of press can sort of have stories ready after the NDA, you know, after sort of the, then, you know, like the time period lapse, you mm-hmm. know, maybe they have an NDA until like April or something like that. So you think, you think, you think we're going to hear something, we're going to hear something, hear some news about this uh, end of Q1 next year? Probably. But then my question is, then why didn't you just have a press conference at the end of Q1? This is true. This is true. So there has to be something bigger than just like, Hey, we're putting a new Tekken Tag game out, or hey, we're doing a new Dragon Ball Z they, thing. It they, has to be more than that. They're porting, they, they port, oh, they were going to port Tekken 7 to the Switch. And yeah, they right? will buy it. And they <laughs> yeah. will buy it. But you have to be mum about it for three months. Why? Well, yeah. You would so buy it. it. it, it you it would has buy to it. Be bigger than that. I would, I would be all over that. I'd be over that. But I, I don't think this is the news. It's got to be more than that. I don't think it's more than that. I think it's just maybe really, but 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 I but why the games. NDA? Why the NDA? I because they're being weird. I don't know. It's just that doesn't make any. It well, just maybe doesn't make maybe any, maybe they maybe they don't want the news to get mixed up in the whole holiday uh, craziness, right? Because everyone's out trying to get gifts. They're trying to get good deals. You know, there's all these like AAA titles coming out. Maybe they're like, look. We're gonna give you a we're gonna give you a couple days lead on this. You can write up some good stories. Uh, the NDA will last until like early January, and then you can post all the stuff out there. Maybe that's it. Okay, but, you know. <clears throat> okay. Be- then my count. Then my question is: mm-hmm. just have the meeting, just have this event in January. Well, I mean, it, it gives it gives the uh, it gives the journalist time to write. You know, a substantial story. Right. You know, right? What I mean during E three, during E three, news is news is news comes out like every five minutes, and journalists have you know, you know, they're rushing to to write an article to put on a site. Sure, and they're always like super quick. They're, Sometimes they get the info wrong. You know, they're they're used to it. I mean, every event, they're used to it. This doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, all right, well, you know, we'll 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 see in the new year. You know, uh, I I can guarantee by. Uh, by E3 2018, we will definitely have all this new shakeout. You think so? You think that? Oh, it has to be. Yeah, it has to be. It has to be. Maybe, that's like... maybe, maybe Dragon Ball teaming up with Tekken? No, maybe. maybe? 
Maybe. I, but I don't think anybody wants to see that, though. I think everyone's clamoring for Ryu versus Goku. I think this should Ryu be a Street Goku. Fighter. Street Fighter v. Dragon Ball. Street that v. would be Dragon awesome. Yeah. That would be an yeah. awesome game. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, all these all these companies did, the, did this wait-and-see approach. Now they're all clamoring in their port stuff to the Switch. Because right. Everyone's, everyone's on the back burner. Like, you know, U- Ubisoft got in there early, and they're like, yes, yes, we will put all of our games on here that we can. Well, they only they're, now everyone's scrambling to port games because now it, it looks like the Switch is sold 10 million units. Right, which is only 2 million less than the lifetime sales of the Wii U, more or less. Which which they're slated to beat like before before the Switch is a year old uh-huh, in March. Uh-huh. Which is which is which is which is crazy. Well, I think it's 13 million. I think I think the Wii U sold about 13 million. Okay, okay. I mean, I I I'm pretty sure they're going to smash that by uh, oh. March. So, so, like, the Switch uh, did what the Wii U did in one year, what it took the Wii U to do Switch, in 10 years? The, the, the Switch did what, what the Wii U, what Wii U didn't? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Needs a little bit of work. <laughs> take it back to the drawing board. All right, I'll take that one back. Uh, I mean, 10 million units is crazy. Uh, I I sort of wanted to buy a second Switch, I'll be honest. <laughs> I did. I kind of yeah. did. I wanted to buy a second Switch. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I will buy the most... When they come out with the Super Switch, I, I, I really do think that should be the name. I'm all in. The Super Switch. <laughs> you should just, on, you you... Should just, they should just call it the Light Switch. <laughs> the Light. No. Well, I think you need to go back to the right? normal. Right? If they make like a smaller model, call it the Light Switch. Come on. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think that, if anything, I think they would make a slightly bigger model with a higher resolution. That well, no, no, no. Yeah, probably they're going to make a beefier one, but you know. No, 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 no. I totally agree with you that they're going to make a small switch, mm-hmm. and they got to call it the light switch. And I, I think that I think the difference with this with with, with the light switch. See, see, it's growing on you. Uh, the, <laughs> uh, with the light switch, I think they probably won't have like the detachable Joy Cons. Maybe it'll just be joy. It'll be sort of like a. You know, Joy Cons will be just permanently attached. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You think? You know, maybe it'll be like a Vita, a yeah. Vita Switch, yeah, a light know. Vita Switch. <laughs> as much as they, as much as they can pare it down, you know. Yeah, there's room for. And then they'll have a high, and, and that'll be for the quote unquote kids, right? Mm-hmm. Because they always do something for the kids, yep. even though the, the 3DS has sold more in 2017 than it did in 2016, mm-hmm. and the Switch came out in 2017 too, so. People, more people bought the 3DS this year than they did last year. That's crazy, and and that could be because of Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> ports of Pokemon games. Uh huh, uh-huh. for sure. So, so I don't think I don't think this I don't think the 3DS is going to die anytime soon. And if it doesn't, if it keeps selling well, they probably won't put out a a, a light switch as right. you like to call it. <laughs> uh, just just a beefier switch, mm-hmm. a super switch. Uh, anyway, I I don't know if I told you this. Mm-hmm. I mean, one, I still don't believe that the Super Mario Odyssey cereal came out in stores because I went to, I, I literally must have went to 10 supermarkets. Well, the, the nothing, I, nothing. Yeah. I saw, yeah. I saw Mario mm-hmm. on boxes of, of just like, you know, other cereals, but mm-hmm. I didn't see the actual Super Mario Odyssey cereal. Yeah, so I don't uh, believe apparently, it came out. Apparently, stock was very low. It sold super quick. Uh, people were just immediately trying to sell it on eBay for double, triple, quadruple the price. Which, which I did buy. Which mm. I did buy. <laughs> I did buy double the price. Right. Uh, I, I I am supporting the scalper, mm-hmm. uh, but double the price is what eight bucks, right? right. So yeah. yeah. Not, so I mean, not... you know, it's not a lot of money. I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait till the next shipment comes out because if serious. it comes out, because I don't believe the first shipment came out. <laughs> uh, they had space for it for sure. I tell you what. I tell you what. I bought. I spent eight dollars on this thing. This mm-hmm. thing is gonna sit in this box forever. Yeah. Right. <laughs> When well, when when the cereal comes back out, if it, if it comes back out, mm-hmm. and I buy it, I will buy that box to actually eat. <laughs> I had a I had a I mean, it, if it's anything like the original cereal, you're not missing much. It's it's pretty basic. You know? I never had it. I never had the original cereal. Yeah, it, it was the original one. I think was just like fruity fruity pebble flakes. This one I think is uh, like like corn shapes and then marshmallows. But I mean, it's no different. You could throw a dart; it's going to be like any other cereal. <laughs> they're just—they're well, technically shaped like Mario um, moons and whatever else, and and and, and balloons and goombas. 
Well, honestly, I only really bought it because I wanted the amiibo. Mm-hmm. Sure. So sure. if it wasn't if it was no amiibo on this, I probably I mean, maybe I would buy it. But you maybe would still I, maybe get I would, it. Come on. May, maybe maybe I'm I'm really about this because I want to see. I really want the amiibo functionality. The ami- it's just coins. That's all you get. Coins and hearts. That's pretty basic. I want, I want, I want coins and hearts. Uh. I just want to say I scanned my box to my Switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> That's all right? I want. That's all I want to say. I scanned my cereal and I got coins. I scanned my cereal. So anyway, mm-hmm. well let's talk about let's talk about let's talk about Zelda. Now you love Zelda. Did you get? Did you? Uh, you got the DLC. I got you the, the DLC. Seasons Pass. Uh, did I, you uh, play it? I haven't completed it yet. Uh, I am definitely in the mix on there. Well, that's something else I've been playing uh, this week. Uh, tack that on. Uh, Breath of the Wild DLC, Champions Ballad. Uh, I am doing the uh, the Great Plateau quest, uh, which is very difficult. Where you get the uh, you get the one hitter, get the one hitter sword. You can kill any enemy with one hit. But uh, they kill you with one hit. Yes, you have like no energy. Uh, so I'm running through that right now. It's fantastic. Well, you know, this came out, well, Zelda came out, sort of blew us away and, and sort of, you know, it ended the Wii U, which I bought a copy for the Wii U. Actually, I'm, I still, I want to play it on the Wii U just to see what the differences are, just to see the graphical difference. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's talk, they're, they're already in development for the next Zelda game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, they built this engine from the ground up like what four or five years ago they did like, four yeah. years ago they did so i mean they spent all this money all this time and all this effort they're going to they're probably going to do the next zelda on the same engine sort of maybe at the end of the switch life cycle, you know maybe it come out another three years four years you think it's going to be that long uh you know i mean i think it will be sort of a breath of a while sort of two Right, so is that going to be drastically different? It'll probably be more exploration. It'll be, it'll uh, be, it'll be the evolution, not the revolution of the series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, you know, I agree. I agree. I think they're going to build well, upon I, this success. Well, remember, uh, Nintendo sort of has like two studios. Right? They had a hand, they they still have that handheld studio where they make all the the top down Zelda games for the mm-hmm. 3ds. Right. So we may get a top down Zelda, too, or sort of like a Twilight Princess port. That's been rumored for a while, like a Twilight Princess port to uh, to the switch. Mm-hmm. So I think maybe I, I would say three years. I think we'll get another Zelda in three years because the DLC is ended. They said no more deals. Right. They just had the two DLC, you know. Yeah. But they're still working on they're, they're, they're fast to work on the next on the next Zelda. So I, yeah. I would say three years. I, I, I think you're we're right. Gonna get a, we're going to get a we're going to get a port. We're going to get a sort of 2d top-down zelda mm-hmm. and it may come out for the 3ds as well you never know mm-hmm. uh and then and i'll buy it for the 3ds and and then we're gonna get a new zelda Breath of the I, Wild I, think, too. I think i think that kind of falls in line because they have like metroid technically coming out next year if not early 2019 there's a pokemon pokemon game. there's yeah. a full-on pokemon game that's in the works for the switch um you know and they they probably have some other stuff in the hopper too you know between that time so you know, Kid once Icarus. all that comes out, then boom, Zelda time, baby. Well, remember, and then and then beginning of next year, uh, we got sort of uh, we got Yoshi, we mm-hmm. got Kirby, right? Mm-hmm. We got, we, so uh, we'll we'll talk about this uh, in episode one hundred, sort of you know predictions and, and looking ahead at twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. But we have a direct in January twenty eighteen twenty eighteen. <laughs> sorry, uh, but we there is a direct in January. Mm-hmm. So we'll, we'll we'll sort of have predictions of what we think they'll have at that direct. Uh, they're definitely going to have to tell talk about more, talk more about what's coming out in 2018 later on, and then they're definitely going to have more gameplay and the actual full full on name and title for Yoshi game and the Kirby game. So, mm-hmm. all right, so that's Breath of the Wild. Now let's talk about the N64. Mm-hmm. So I was actually watching Metal Jesus. He had a sort of uh, review of the N64 where they solder on uh, sort of you can watch it you can you can play games sort of upscaled to mm-hmm. uh, it's an HDMI NDI. mod yeah which which you can four hundred dollars four hundred dollars for an HDMI mod but it does That's crazy it does do some fancy because uh, the N64 was notorious for having this like a uh, blurring effect over all of their uh, polygons and whatever else because they didn't have anti-aliasing really so they had to kind of smooth things out a little bit, and they they, they, they put this blur effect over everything, and it, all the games just look muddy. You can never get them to look super sharp. So that's the magic behind it, and then it's HDMI out, so it's pure digital. It comes straight from the board. Uh, the coolest thing about it, I think, is that they don't 
tamper with the original connection. They just add a new connection to it. So you can do like regular composite or the uh, straight up HDMI. And it, it, it looks really good, I think. It does. No, no, it looks night and day like better, yeah, like way better. It's super crisp. Some games are unplayable mm-hmm. now in the 64, uh, like GoldenEye, mm-hmm. right? Some people say GoldenEye is unplayable in the 64. Now, we've been clamoring for sort of like a GoldenEye 2, mm-hmm. right? A GoldenEye Style 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rare, we're never gonna, we, we thought we'd never get it because Rare is not owned by Nintendo anymore. Xbox owns owned that. Microsoft, so, yeah. yeah, so, you know, sort of this fight over the rights for that game. Well, it's apparently, because we did, we did get, uh, well, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Well, no, go ahead. We oh, got cause, what? Cause, what did we, get? we did, we did have that Golden Arbor loaded a couple of years ago, right? Which came out for like the 360 and the Wii and the PS3 or the Wii U. And it was funny because, like, you couldn't use the likeness of Pierce, Pierce uh, Brosnan. He wasn't the Bond anymore, and so they had to swap it with uh, with Daniel Craig, which was really weird. Um, and we've had various, like, uh, mods for Half-Life, which they would recreate the um, the uh, the levels for GoldenEye. But it, it was just, it was never the well, same. It was never, it was never the same. It wasn't yeah. official release. No. But, uh, but Nintendo owned the copyright to mm-hmm. uh GoldenEye 007. So, and they are no, they, they copyright expired. Mm-hmm. Which is so, it's very interesting. So, Xbox, they, they, they own Rare. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, they would need to get the, the company that owns the rights to James Bond games to sort of also, you know, give their blessing to sort of make a sequel to that game. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I would they'd love have to, to hit s- up, they'd have to hit up MGM as well as the, uh, the Broccoli family, I think. Who owns the the rights to it? MGM produces all the movies, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. They, they, there would be a lot of legal paperwork involved. But, but my maybe, God. maybe, maybe this has been in the works. You know, you know. I mean, look, companies know when copyrights are going to expire, mm-hmm. and I'm sure they've had talks with Nintendo about this because they made Rare did. They were working on a sequel that never got released. Oh no way! So, well, I think didn't that get turned into uh, Perfect Dark? It uh, got turned into Perfect Dark, but mm-hmm. they're still playable. Uh, sections of sort of like the the sequel that uh, that never got officially released. Interesting. So uh, maybe this has been in the works, right? Maybe this is an E three bombshell that you know Microsoft wants to have on their stage. You never know. Mm-hmm. I would, I would, you know what? I'm going to add that to my predictions right now. You heard it now. Goldeneye 0072 or whatever they call it coming out Xbox exclusive. Shake shake bet. Hell no. <laughs> this is how I know you're not confident in that prediction. <laughs> this is my crazy prediction. Uh, uh, you only uh, have that one crazy prediction that, you know, the Vita 2. Uh-huh. Oh, the Vita 2 that's never coming out? It's coming, maybe. No, it's coming. No. The, it's coming. The Switch put the nail in the coffin. Nintendo's like, Sony, take a seat. We got this. Uh, whatever. 75 million sold. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. They're, gonna, they're gonna put out a portable. They're gonna Congrats. put out a portable system to go to go along with it. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, <laughs> the Vita Two, baby. Oh God, you'll be on that island for a while. <laughs> Castaway, uh-huh. like Tom Hanks. Exactly. Tom, speaking to a soccer ball. <laughs> Vita. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, well, sp- well, speaking of Xbox, mm-hmm. uh, Cuphead did really well. I I didn't I wasn't expecting that. I mean, this digital only game. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did come out sort of with a case that had a digital download code mm-hmm. that I can't find anymore. I was you know when I went on my spending binge, I went to go find that case and I couldn't find it any. I don't know. I, maybe I gotta look on Microsoft's uh, look on X, Microsoft's uh, site mm-hmm. to see if they still have it. But I know like the Best Buy, GameStop, they don't have it. Uh, but Cuphead did really well. Two million copies sold. Mhm. Mhm. Over that's, half of them on Steam. That's so insane. sort of like a million Xbox, a million on Steam. Mhm. Mhm. PC Master Race, baby. Well, Steam. It's still, it's still, it's still half and half. It's well, you half know, you know. I, I guess if it was like two million on Steam, five hundred thousand X, this is like a million on Steam, mm-hmm. a million on Xbox. Mm-hmm. As you have to buy that game, Dave. Get about that game. I know. I know. There's just, there's just too much to play. Like. I, Listen, no, Dave. Dave I know I'm gonna. This love is it. 
Dave, this is a game you would love. It's right up your alley because you don't even need to put a difficulty setting on this. It's right, already look, hard. Yeah, yeah it's, it's already cranked <laughs> to 11. It's already hard. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Like, like you, go, you go through the first two worlds, the sort of like, not the first, you go through the first two sort of... Tutorial the first world, missions or... You go through the first two tutorial missions. Well, mm. the first tutorial mission, apparently that one reviewer had a hard time jumping uh, yeah, in. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Dean. <laughs> But uh, just the first sort of, I guess, tutorial worlds, right, mm -hmm. where you get your feet wet, mm -hmm. totally difficult. Like, this game is just unbearingly hard. Yeah, yeah, so. no, I'm, I'm, I'm aware. Uh, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm trying to wait for an actual physical release. I know. I, knew I know you, it's going to happen. Gonna, I know it's going to happen. You're gonna it has that. to. And then they'll well, make a special I, edition of it and whatever, and I'm going to get all that. I'm going to get all that. It's going to happen. They have. They have. Again, they came out with the case, just not the disc. Yeah, but you said we can't even find it now. Well, I haven't. I haven't looked everywhere. I, I looked at GameStop. I, I went to Best Buy, mm -hmm. and just, no one had it anymore. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm willing to. I'm willing to buy it. I'm willing to spend another thirty bucks, mm -hmm. <laughs> just for the case, <laughs> just for the case. Uh, that that is the collector in me. Um, any, anyway, so again, speaking of another game that we both love, Psychonauts mm -hmm. One, right? Mm -hmm. I have it. I have it. Actually, have it for the, the OG Xbox. Um, Psychonauts Two, that was crowdsourced, has been delayed until after 2018. So it's sort of like a 2019 game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a little upsetting for for me. I'm a huge, I'm a huge, uh, huge Psychonauts fan. Uh, I love... you are you 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 love to dress up. Uh, as, yeah, uh, yeah. That was my that was my costume. Uh, I think uh, costume? 2015. I was, went to uh, PAX. I was I was Raz from Psychonaut. I I reprised it at PAX. I, I wore the hat at um at uh at uh at this year's Comic Con. Uh, I love the director of uh, all of these games. Uh, his name escapes me, but he is awesome and everything he does I love. So it's sad, but I understand that there's, they probably have some programming hiccups. You know the game's not probably as polished as they want it to be it's well, not remember this is like... crowd this is the crowdfunded sequel right the right. crowdfunded this game yeah so, so there's you know they're just they're just trying to make sure it's a good release you know so i'm i'm fine with the 2019 release i can wait i can wait so uh i didn't know uh jet uh jack black is uh sort of in this game yeah yeah well he was the um it was funny when they made when they were making brutal legend uh, before they even like got him to sign on, they're like they basically made the lead character for Jack Black, and then they and then they like went to him and said, "Hey, look, we have this uh, have this voiceover spot. Do you want to be the?" And he was like, "Hell yes!" <laughs> he was right in. So that's awesome. I'm 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 glad he's going to be a voice actor in this one. I'm pretty sure he's well, going to have a pretty big role. Well, this the, I'm I'm sure Psychonaut will be it, it would be good second night two is going to be good it's going to come out the same year 2019 as death stranding <laughs> and, <laughs> and probably the last of us two uh -huh. right those are all 2019 it was all 2019 games yep yep uh, anyway uh speaking of delays mm -hmm. uh the atari box okay atari oh, box was wow. supposed to go pre-order is supposed to go in december uh, they do. They did this on Indiegogo. This is, you know, and everyone was sort of up and on because Indie, you know, on Indiegogo, on Indiegogo, you don't need a prototype, right? Which is kind of weird. So it's sort of like you're just financing an idea, right? Like, I don't know how I feel about financing an act, like an idea. Like you have, you should have some type of working prototype, right? Exactly. You know, if I'm going to spend give, that much money, right? On, give us, on give us the money to complete. A production ready model, you know, but look, we have this thing, it works, it does some stuff, you know, right now it's just 3D models of it, you know, and although they look cool, you know, they have the one with the wood grain and like the black and it looks retro and future at the same time, uh, I'm it's probably going to be a hard pass for me. Uh, I, I never, never thought about packing this. Uh, well, December 14th is when pre-orders was supposed to go up uh -huh. and it's been delayed. And the console price range between two fifty and $300. Right. And we don't even know what it's going to do. You know, it, 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 it doesn't have a port for old school Atari games in the back, which is, I, I don't know why they didn't do that. You know, it's got USB ports. It's going to be able to play games. We don't even know 
which games, you know. It, it, and it's a Linux operating system. Right, right. <laughs> everything everything seems very suspect about it, right? I just, I just, uh, I was never like excited for this. I mean, I was excited about when I saw the box. I was like, yeah. oh, that looks cool. Yeah, it looks super cool. But then when I said this was going to be sort of crowdfunded through Indiegogo, I was like, okay, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do that. Not to mention, remember, Atari was split into like three, two, three different companies. Like mm-hmm. there was one company that owns the IP and there's another company that owns the name. This is the company that owns the name. They own zero of the IP. Right. Right. So they have, I mean, what kind of games are coming to this system? It's just, it's just, as you said, a glorified Ouya. Yeah. With an Atari name on it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I think that's essentially what it's going to shake out. So, eh, I was like, eh, whatever. <laughs> on the Dave scale, it's, eh, and eh, a little bit. Eh, eh, no. And, no. and, and look, the only reason it's why not trash. I'm surprised it's not trash from you. I'll tell you why it's not trash mm-hmm. because I don't know anything about it. Fair. Okay. Yeah. Same, same. You know, you Once... can't really make an opinion about something that doesn't exist and yeah. you don't have any <laughs> info about. There you go. Right. <laughs> so when the info comes out and it's like, this is what the full specs are. This is what it will have. This is, this is exactly what it's be. This is a working prototype. Then I can say, eh, right. trash. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So anyway, now, lastly, not a lot of news. It's the holiday season. Everything slows down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I definitely want to talk about this because you put me onto this game. I did. I did. Thank you. For, I, uh, thank you for giving me credit. I did not know that. I didn't know anything about this game. We played this game at your house. I went out immediately and bought this. Because uh-huh. it's great. It's, I mean, you know, it's the people who made Persona. Uh-huh. <laughs> At, you know, Atlas. Catherine, full body, has been announced for the PS4 and surprisingly the Vita. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, if there's a physical version of this for the Vita, you know I'm buying it. Of course. If this is download only, I'm not going to do it. But if there's a physical version, I will buy it. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting I'll, that they're doing a Vita version. I'll, I'll tell you why they. I think they're doing a Vita version. I mm-hmm. think this has been in the works for a while, maybe. Mm-hmm. This is before the Switch sort of came out, right? This is a Soul Calibur 6 type of uh type of right. type of thing right? right when they've been in development about this because i mean the game before... the game originally came out on 360 ps3 in 2011 so it's been like you know six years and and i'm gonna say maybe last four or five years maybe they've been maybe this has been in concept phase and you know they started actually working on a game a couple of years ago and mm-hmm. hey you know they have a thing with with sony right because persona 5 is only on on ps4 mm-hmm. Maybe they said, you know, let's develop it for the Vita. Obviously, the Vita's not doing so well. Well, just as a side note, the Vita's not doing so well over here. The Vita is still selling, you in know, Japan. modestly in Japan. Because mm-hmm. it's, you know, Japan loves their handhelds. They do. So uh, if, I think if you check if you check the sales for the, the Vita in Japan, it's still selling, I mean, you know, a few thousand copies a week mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds, or a month. It, so it's, it's that's... Okay. It's still doing okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that's why. And remember, you know, I mean, you know, this is a Japanese developer. You know, they want to cater. They want to cater to that handheld market. Right. Right. So I will say kudos to you for putting me on the Catherine because I knew nothing about this game. Yeah, it is. It is a wholly unique game. There is no other game like it. You basically, I, I, I can't even explain it. You just have to, if anybody is interested in seeing what this game is about, go to YouTube Look up Catherine um, uh, videos, and you will see. Yeah, but I love it. Uh, I can't wait for this to come out. I'm all about it. I will be getting a PS4 version because I do not own a Vita, even though I do own Vita games. Well, you. you... <laughs> uh, well, I can tell you right now, I did not get you a Vita for Christmas. <laughs> well, that's it. I'm taking. I'm taking your gift back. I'm very upset. How did you not get me a Vita? I think you would like. I think you're gonna like your gifts. All right. Next. All right. We shall see. So, all right. Enough. Enough of that talk of those news. Let's talk about the best games of 2017. Let's Game get into of the year nominees 2017. Yeah. Let's go. All right. So, do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? I uh, I'm 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 fine with going first if that's cool. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So uh, no particular order. In no, no particular, particular order. order. You get yeah. five, I get five. Um, we made sure to not have any repeats, so we do know what each other is picking in this case. 
Uh, these are the best console games of the year. Uh, and I already know what your first pick is going to be. In our opinion. I already well, know what course, your first pick is going to be. Of course, because you're looking at be. the show it notes right to, now. <laughs> it, that, and it has to be The Order 1886. Yes, it has been nominated again oh, for 2017. Oh, it is, it is a, it is a sneak. Honorary, it is a honorary sneak nom- nominee. Handwritten in, in, in crayon at the last minute. Number 11, Order 1886. Game yes. of the Year nominee, 2017. Three years in a row. Three years in a row. It's been the best game <laughs> every year. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the only game to ever do that. The only game to not come out in that year and get nominated for Game of the Year that year. It's, it's made history. It's crazy. It's made history. Uh, it's made history. Oh, I love it. I love it. So, yes, honorary nominee, number 11, uh, Order 1886. <laughs> uh, my first pick is drum roll please none other than zelda breath of the wild nice there you go there you this go. game any... blew everybody's mind mm-hmm. it redefined zelda mm-hmm. and interesting i was looking at something i was looking at sort of like the zelda timeline mm-hmm. on on youtube uh because i really didn't get into zelda until later later on because i mean I, I i played sort of zelda but i wasn't that like zelda 2 mm-hmm. and wasn't you know, it didn't capture me as a kid, and I, I didn't own it. I played it at somebody else's house, right. and everyone thinks Zelda Two is the worst Zelda at all the at all the games. It's just different. It's really it's not just a bad different. Game. Yeah. No, it's not a bad game, but I, I said compared to the other Zelda games, not it is. It is definitely on the low end. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, apparently, this is sort of like because all the Zelda games that we've played in the past happened thousands of years in the you know in the past, sure. and sort of like legend. Right, They're like all those at different points in history, yeah, throughout high that, yeah, those are legend. So this is sort of maybe current day. So this is sort of like rebooting the franchise, so they can take it forward and do new things with it without tying it in to the, the timeline game. of the previous games. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was interesting. Yeah, um, yeah. I still haven't beaten it. I, I'm going to get back <laughs> to it after New Year's. I, I said to myself, "This uh-huh. is on my New Year's. This is and on my." You know, uh, yeah. 2018 it's list the of game games at your like, leisure, all right? If it takes you four years to beat it, by all means, it'll take you four years to beat it, and you'll have a good time doing it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like, it's, you know, it's no surprise. Uh, this is, I'm going to have to say, my favorite Zelda game of all time. It is it is in my top five, uh, top five games of all time. And that hasn't happened for a while, for a game to crack the top five like that. Hell, yeah. I, would, I would even put it in my top three right there. I'm saying it now. Wow. Top three games of all time. So, wow. you know, no doubt in my mind, this game, fantastic. Uh, number two, Tekken 7. Tekken, the best fighting game franchise of all time. Uh, Tekken 7 uh, is a solid entry quiet. Tekken 7 is a solid uh, entry uh, series. All right. Uh, uh, so I'm throwing that up for number two. Uh, number three, my girl Samus returns. In a handheld in. A handheld for the 3DS. I love it. Uh, throwing that up for number three, uh, is a remake of Metroid 2, but there's enough new stuff in there. Uh, they've updated a lot of stuff, made it more modern, a lot easier to play, map system, all that good stuff. So, throwing that in there. Uh, one game that we both liked, I'm putting in the number four spot, Resident Evil 7. And you uh, played it strictly in VR. I'm I did. Sh- I, I did. I did. Well, you're, you, we, we had some, if you go back in the Instagram, you can see me playing in VR and getting freaked out by the chainsaw. Um, that game was tough. It was tough to do in VR, <laughs> let alone not <laughs> VR. Um, but yeah, I went through the whole game in VR. I loved it. Uh, start to finish. Um, and number five, number five. Uh, surpriser. Surpriser. Su- surprise, is, surprise. Surprise entry. Sonic Mania. You know, Mm -hmm. finally a good Sonic game to come back. Um, So very excited about that. Everything was great about it. They took it back to the roots. It's very heavily influenced by Sonic 3. Even a lot of the stages are remixed versions of old Sonic games, uh, old uh, Sonic levels. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's just everything's just perfect. So those are those are my five. You got a sleeper hit in there, Sonic Mania. No, I got to, I got to, you know, mix it up a little bit. I got to mix it up a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, I definitely mix it up. Mm-hmm. Okay. And again, no particular order. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and look, before I get into my to my top five, uh, my nominees, we just want to say we we had to nominate games that we actually played. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so we couldn't nominate games just on sort of reputation. We had to play the game. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. people uh, people I, may ask why 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 Prey isn't in my top five. Well, I haven't played it. <laughs> you haven't, you haven't played it. Or uh, near Automata. Or, I yeah, have played it exactly. It, exactly. To me, it, just in my opinion, I mean, it wouldn't. It didn't make. It didn't make my top five. Right. Right. Ken so. Jones uh, slot machines twenty seventeen. Haven't played it. I can't put it on the top five. But you have played the Order 1887, 1886. 1886, I have. I have. You have, which is, is why it we is, all, it, is, it, it, is, has, it has to be honorary nominee. Yeah, I mean, it's a solid game. It's a solid game. Okay, all right. So there's no particular order. Uh, what Remains of Edith Finch? Mm-hmm. That was a surprise hit for me. I love that game. Sort of going through, uh, going through sort of the residence of the Edith Finch, the Finch estate, mm-hmm. and sort of like each room representing a different family member that's died mm-hmm. right that's perished and you're sort of living through you know their life be right before they died uh that, that that's a great game and I, we played i well i played it at pax originally and i thought that was like my game of pax mm-hmm. of uh 2016 2016 yeah they had they had a really cool booth they had like a, a like a, a a scale model replica of the house which was awesome. Like they, they, they really did it right. Yeah. So I really like that game. Um, number four, mm-hmm. definitely have to pick Cuphead. Mm. I mean, love the art style. It, it won a lot of awards for the art style. Mm-hmm. It's really difficult. I mean, this chat, this will challenge you as a gamer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, it takes it back to that old school platforming difficulty style. Everything's uh, old school about it, you know. Everything old school, nineteen thirties animation, the old school hard difficulty. So, uh, number three, mm-hmm. Persona Five. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm not an RPG guy, and you know that. I hate on, you know, I, I throw shade on Final Fantasy. Oh, do you? All the time. This is this is news to me. When have you ever thrown? Oh wait, that happens every episode. <laughs> I'm not an RPG <laughs> fan. The o- the only RPG that really captured my imagination captured captured my attention mm-hmm. was uh super mario rpg right 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 and i got that game because my parents didn't they don't know what rpg is they said mm-hmm. super mario game came out great mm-hmm. we're gonna give it to them right right you, yeah, you, it was you my birthday gift you basically had to like that game because that was your game you know i had to that was my birthday gift mm-hmm. so i had to, and i played it a lot and mm-hmm. i had to like it mm-hmm. <laughs> um you know so i really liked i mean the story it was a little weird. I it's mean, again, it's a, Japanese, it's a Japanese game. It's bananas. Let's bananas. not say a little weird. It's bananas. It's bananas. It's bananas in a good way, though. So bananas that it, it, I couldn't stop playing it. Uh-huh. Uh, but I, I had to stop. I had to stop playing it because it literally I had to live somebody else's life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got, I, you know, I got to get back into that. Mm-hmm. Uh, next game, Horizon Zero Dawn. Sleeper hit. Now, mm-hmm. this game came out a week before Zelda. Okay, and everyone thought it looked great. It should be great, but we want Zelda, and a lot of people didn't play Zelda right away because they were finishing Horizon Zero Dawn. Mm-hmm. This game is great. Uh, I mean, you sort of—I'm not going to spoil the story for you because I know you didn't play the game. No, I haven't. I haven't yet. I mean, I do. It, it, it is definitely in the backlog, you know. But it—it it feels like you're, you know, it's—it's it's sort of like it feels like prehistoric time with technology because mm-hmm. you have like these pre- you have like robot dinosaurs and you, and you don't know why they're robot dinosaurs just mm-hmm. all around and people seem to not be in touch with technology right so and 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 sort of the little guy that she finds as a child it's sort of like they she thinks it's magic mm-hmm. right so i thought i thought that game is fantastic mm. uh i still haven't beaten it uh, I did. I did buy the season pass. Well, the DLC, Frozen Wilds. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just another game. I should actually, when we stop recording, when we're finished doing the show, I'm going to play that game right after. Nice. Right afterwards. Nice. It's just fitting. It's snowing outside. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play the Frozen Wilds, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my number one game, my, my top, my top five, to round up my top five, mm-hmm. Super Mario Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Now I love this. I love Super Mario Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Like I played the heck out of this game. Odyssey is uh, Odyssey is fantastic. I mean, it's 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 the better version of Mario sixty four. 
it's yes. the better version of Sunshine, right? Takes all those elements. Never, never played Sunshine. So I really? Can't oh, I never played Sunshine. Sunshine's great. Yeah, I love, I, I love Sunshine. Remember that, that was the gap in my gaming, my mm-hmm. gaming life. Mm-hmm. So I never played any of the Sun. I never. Yeah, played I mean, you know, Odyssey, Smash it. Uh, you know, Nintendo is, you know, like we said before, Nintendo was killing it uh, this year. Well, I, Super- I, fun fact: Super Mario Odyssey was the was the only time my boss has asked me about a video game. Oh no way! No way. <laughs> I guess he was buying the uh, buying a Switch for his son. Mm-hmm. And he's mm-hmm. Like, how's that Super Mario game? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna buy it. Maybe I'll play it a little bit too. And 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 I bet, I bet on the Dave scale, you went. It's fantastic. Uh, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It is fantastic, <laughs> right? That, yeah. Listen, all these games are fantastic. All mm-hmm. ten, because we wouldn't nominate them unless they were. This is not this is this is the game of the year. Okay, mm-hmm. so you have to be fantastic to be mm-hmm. in a running. Just like and I'm gonna say it one more time, the order, eighteen eighty six. Yep, yep. So, so that's um that's about it. You know our eleven nominees uh, for game <laughs> of the year. Uh, we will let you know on episode 100, coming up very soon, what our pick is for Game of the Year. Special episode 2, episode 100. Not just Game of the Year. Uh, not just a look back at 2017, the highs and the lows. Uh, we also have a special guest. We have Scotty, Retro Tinkering, on YouTube and Instagram. He will be our special guest. And uh, we're going to get into uh, everything retro. So, I want to thank you guys for uh, sticking with us, being fans and listening and showing all the love and support. Uh, You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Google+, and YouTube at Rated G for Gamers. You can always email us at RatedGForGamers at gmail.com. So, please like, listen, subscribe, and as always, keep gaming.